Hey all duckies, Andy Lippy back with a nice quick tips, bits and tricks and tutorial just for OBS. Everything condensed into less than two minutes, okay? So I'm going to swap to my desktop scene. And as you saw then, I'm using a transition. I don't want it to use a transition. I want it to do a smooth movement, okay? So I'm going to right click down on the scene that I'm on and go to transition override. I'm going to change that to move. And then I'm going to go back to the full screen cam. Right click that and press transition move as well and now when I swap back to the desktop scene it'll just move as easy as that back to full screen move so you can do that globally so if I go to a different scene say my let's chat so I'm in my let's chat and I want to go to a full screen cam Woo! It uses movement Okay, easy as that. That's how you use transition override. I actually don't use that tool that much because I use the transition override matrix plugin that's available for OBS. Go and check out my video on it just up here. And let me know if you've got any things that you want me to cover in these videos just below, okay? But make sure you do like the video, subscribe, come and see me on my Twitch channel and drop, drop, drop us a follow. Do you know what I mean? Put your rock for the stone. See you soon.